Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today Aquarius, I'm going to be doing a love reading for you guys. I have this person's energy, this person's energy, and a collective energy between the two. So you guys got number 21, choose love. You always have choice, make yours with love. I feel like these two people with this card coming up, this, this reminds me of like memories and maybe some of the past, but I think a lot of them to do with the future. So I think both of these people are really contemplating if this other person's gonna like fit into their lives. That's the vibe that I'm getting with this reading. It's like, what do I want for my future, right? Cause there's kids like playing here in the grass and there's like a family playing here and there's people like inside and, and there's a lot to do with like family, I wanna say, and like friends and like a future vibe, right? Like how you see your future kind of like a ten of cups vibe like i want the whole thing and does this person want the same things as me so that's what i'm getting with this collective energy i think that both people are really contemplating if this other person fits in their lives and it's not only like you know i love this person i want to be with them but it's like is this the best choice for me right is this going to be the best thing for me in my life and I think that's what both of these people are deciding right now. So I think there's, it's a very similar energy, but I, I see totally different people. So I feel like with this person's side, like this person's energy, they got Jihabia, number 61. And I feel like this person is very, very fearful. I feel like this person, I don't call them like, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything bad. I just think that this person, they're timid like they don't like to make this i think they have a hard time making decisions they're like indecisive right this person and i think it comes out of fears and it's like a problem with this person's energy i think this person really like it's not that they have a hard time committing it's because i feel like they are just a very like it's not even timid it's like fearful right they're fearful of what could happen so they don't take the chance. Do you know what I'm saying? They imagine like all the wrong things happening or all the bad things that could happen from the situation and they just react in that way. So it's like, I don't even feel like, I, I think that can put them into a low vibe at times because it's kind of like the energy of being fearful, right? It doesn't, it's not a positive vibe, right? Like it, it puts you in a negative vibe already with fear. Like fear isn't like a low vibe. So I think this person has a hard time seeing, again, a future, but it's not because that like they don't want one. It's because, again, they, they see like all the things that could go wrong and they just rather like protect themselves in a sense. And that's what I'm getting from the side uh, with Habia. And the good thing though about this is that I feel like there's nothing, I mean, I, I don't know, it depends on, on how you look at it, but this, this fairy comes out when it's imaginary right it's like um when you're a kid and you're scared of like what's underneath the bed right it's not even like a rational thing it's just a fear right it's just like oh my god like you're a kid and you don't understand like that there could probably be nothing under your bed like no one's come in your room you know what i mean or you're afraid of the dark right because like you can't see anything in the dark so you just get scared and that's what this guy like this fairy says this fairy speaks about this fairy speaks about imaginary fears and fears that are just like illusions and like that they're really not real so i feel like again this person creates this creates these fears in their minds and i think that it affects them right and i feel like it obviously affects this relationship because i feel like this other person might know that it's like oh they're only looking at things from like a negative point of view or they're only looking at things from fear or they don't want to take a chance because they're scared. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this person, I, it could have been that they've been hurt a lot in their lives, but I just feel like a very, I think it makes them seem a little timid, but I don't think this person is like timid necessarily. I just think that the, again, they just don't, they have a problem possibly committing because it's like, if I put all my eggs in that basket and then I get like dumped, <laughs> then I'm going to look like dumb or I'm going to feel dumb or I'm going to feel sad and I don't have time for that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's the vibe I'm getting from this person. But again, it's not a real thing. It's just fear. But the good thing, the good thing that I'm seeing is like a very, I see a very positive shift 
right in this person and i feel like that's because i have the guardian of the gate and fairies of the future afterward so we have three 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 right three and thirty three so i feel like and again that's the number of choose love so i feel like this person is moving towards like love right in their lives they're moving towards it but it's a lot of mental like it's so mental with this person i mean it is with everybody right like some most of the time it's like a fear an illusion or you know there's something that we have to change mentally so that the outward can reflect and i feel like that's what this person is doing with the guardian of the gate the guardian of the gate only allows you through once you've kind of like learned something right and it's so funny because both of these people i think are going through some sort of gateway or some sort of change because the guardian of the gate it promises you that once you make it past the gate you will not like be the same and i feel like for this person they are also getting in the second like position uh Nihilus the alchemist which is also like alchemy is a change that you can't go back to right like once you do the transformation you can't you can't go back ever so i feel like it's funny because both of these people are going through a very similar energy here right and i think the energy is it's very important for these two people because again we have choose love so i feel like this is only bringing these two people closer to love but it's it's the, they, it's how they have to act right this person is very fearful and i feel like they they have to make a lot of changes in their life because they're they they work in fear right so it's like how do i change my it's, it's literally a change in perspective right it's not like this person is changing something easy like a pair of shoes this person has to change their entire like perspective i think on love right and like what it means to work with someone and i think it's because they're starting to see like that in their future there's things that they would like to have and i think that again it's like i feel like i've had a similar reading to this before but anyway with fairies of the future it's like this person is looking to the future right so i feel like the future is kind of pulling this person along like it's not it's it's like they have a choice to go willingly or unwillingly but i think that ultimately their life is headed obviously it, like we're moving towards the future every single day like we're moving forward we're moving to the present i mean to the future we're in the present moving to the future and it's like this card speaks about how you can be like pulled along or you can go walking right and you can go running like you can go so many ways towards the future and i feel like for a really long time this person has been like digging their heels in when it comes to love like actually just being like you know what this has i guess like no place in my life right now uh what what place would it have in my life if it's just again there's so many fears that this person carries that it's just like there's no point in it but i think it's really important because with fairies of the future i think they're deciding like you know what it's not there's no point in me like dragging my feet anymore like maybe i actually do want <laughs> to work on something with someone and i feel like that's the energy that i'm getting here a really strong energy of someone who's like willingly trying to like change their perspective on love so that they can and like it's like once they change their perspective the gateway opens and the energy pours and then they're like looking towards the future and i think that's i feel like that's an energy already like happening i don't think this is like a one day process i think this is like the energy that this person is slowly shifting in it's like a clock like they're going in this direction and again it's an energy where they can't ever really go back i feel like once they decide to choose love once they decide to like embrace love and embrace this other person they're going to be pleasantly surprised and they're not going to like they're they're not going to go back you know what i'm saying they're not going to go back i think they just it's like a process of letting go of these fears and these illusions right and i think it's really funny because with the i see like two pregnant fairies right so i feel like this has a lot to do again this was reminding me a lot of the ton of cups a lot of family a lot of like future vibes and i think like it's kind of reminding me of like that with the fairies of the future like with two pregnant fairies here it's kind of like i think this person is beginning to understand that it's like I think it's like also like I would like to have a child one day like I would like to have a family one day I would like to like when they envision their future I think they're starting to envision their future now with like family like kids and I think again it's a really big change for this person because I think for a very long time it was just more of a fear-based mentality that didn't lead them like I don't think they thought it was possible for them right so I feel like this person is going through a really big transformation and then I feel like this person is also going through a transformation but differently so you with this person's energy on this side number 49 mickle a muckle i feel like it's really important to understand this person's energy because i think that this person's energy is completely different from this other person's i'm i'm thinking of like opposites like opposites attracting like yeah they're you see how their colors are similar like maybe there's something like there's similar things between these people but i think on like like on the very deep core of this person they 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 have a lot of fear and i feel like 
this person is like the opposite. I feel like this person is like a child, right? Because with Mikkel, a muckle, this is like someone who like knows how to like embrace their inner child. This is someone who like, like, I feel like the card advises you to be in this energy, but with this coming out and then the alchem like the alchemical transformation, I feel like this person is going through a different transformation and I feel like it's for totally different reasons. I feel like this person really like, their their naive approach to life and they're like i feel like i'm getting like a page energy right where it's like i'm so ready for this adventure i'm so ready for this you know like they're so ready and it's not a negative thing it's a really positive thing they see life through like with a lot of innocence right this is like the person who sees things through like rose colored glasses they can see like something positive about any situation and i feel like again this person is like the pessimist and i feel like this person is like the optimist right like oh like this is totally possible like we can 100 percent do this right so i feel like this person being in this energy has really taught this person a lot of hard lessons i'm gonna say because i feel like when you are in the 3d with this innocence and this childlike manner you get hurt a lot, right? Because it's an energy of someone who tries to like embrace others, tries to like be positive, tries to do you know what I'm saying. And I feel like for a second, this person had to learn that not everybody is worth this person's time. Not everyone is going to like embrace this person's childlike innocence and protect it. A lot of people are going to see it and try to take it or like damage it. Do you know what I'm saying? Or them just being themselves affects this person like maybe this is a very strong empath but again i'm getting like a very like child childlike energy i think it's mostly it's not even about empathy but it's about like this innocence right and i think that this person had to learn something very hard and that's why i think they're going through this transformation i think that this transformation for this person has been like <laughs> how can i look at things on a 3d i think it's like how can i remain in my innocence and like my childlike manner and my like lust for life and my adventures and like i want to like make everyday count type vibe and still be like <laughs> in the 3d right and like learning to protect that aspect of themselves i think it takes a lot of like analysis it takes a lot of how do you say like I mean, it takes strength, but I think it really takes a good like head on your shoulders because I think, I think it's like people will like lie to this person, right? And say like, yeah, like I'm there for you. I'm going to be there for you. Like I want this with you. But then it's like in action, they're not there. Do you know what I'm saying? So this person's gotten hurt a lot. And I feel like it's, it's a kind of a transformation in the sense of like learning who is like gonna nurture you and who's gonna not like who's gonna be there really and like say it or who's just saying it and is just trying to use this person so i'm saying i feel like this person's energy they, they it has led these two people to different like parts of their different you know ways of living right because this person who like always lives in fear do you see like they're they have like a barrier in front of themselves <laughs> And they're like no like you can't come near me right and then this person i feel like is like super open super receptive just like laughing like do you know what i'm saying it's a completely different vibe and i feel like again i only the only funny thing that i like about this is like like i see the colors are pretty similar so i like that i like that they they both came out very similar like in colors but as in in, in like personality wise i feel like these two are like day and night <laughs> and i feel like the changes that these people had to go through are like kind of the opposite right like this person has to see things through this person's eyes right and this person has to see things through this person's eyes like yeah maybe there's a little bit of balance needed right for like this person and this person like learning from each other i think would be actually really beneficial to both these people but again it's like these people have to stay in their energies right like this person has to still remain themselves right i think they have to like learn a little bit about how this person might like approach things to like protect themselves like learning how to protect themselves but at the same time like not taking that whole thing with them like there's there's a safe way to do it and there's like a way to do it that's not like healthy and i feel like that's that's the point of this person like they do it too much they do it in an unhealthy manner so yeah it's it's really funny how i'm getting like these two opposites <laughs> these two opposite people like I, again i think they're similar but the, their perspectives and lives are so different but yeah i see this person going through this transformation when nellis the alchemist number nine again another nine so it's like we have a nine here and a nine here and i think it's just again this person is entering like the end with that transformation and i think it's a really important thing because 
it's something that you need to learn when we're like living in the 3D, right? How to like stay in that energy of like being yourself, but at the same time learning to protect it and not give it to everyone, that light to everyone. Do you see how like this person has so much light around like in this dark, in this darkness? It's kind of reminding me of like this person's light. They, how can they remain in that light and not let anyone take it? Also like not letting this person take it because there's something from like learning from this person. And the same thing is like to, let this person affect you and be negative towards you for being yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? We always want like positive, happy relationships. So I think it's like, it's important to learn from the other, but at the same time, like remain, this person has to remain themselves. And I feel like this person is like the innocent child, right? So I think once this person understands how to kind of balance this energy out, I think it's when this person can come into some sort of connection. And I feel like it's really funny because this person has a six here with 33 and this person also has a six. So I feel like here with this matching of energy, like this matching, right? Like again, we have like opposites, but then matching, right? It's, it's, it's interesting. And I think, again, I think these two people could be good for each other, but it has to be a balanced thing, right? With the singer of connection, I think it's kind of like, this, this person has to really learn how to keep their heart open and to, if this person can't like, if this person can't make it past this gate, right? And can't make it past that energy of coming out of this pessimism and this like, I'm scared and I don't wanna make any moves type vibe. If they can make it past the gate, then I feel like they would be a really good match to this person because I see, I feel like this person sees a future with this other person, right? With fairies of the future, it's like, it's like with two pregnant fairies here, I feel like this could be the masculine energy and I think that they do really, I don't know if this is like confirmation for some of you guys, but I think this person would really like a family with this other person and I feel like I've gotten a reading like this similar. But yeah, I, I see with like the two pregnant fairies that it's like this person and the fairy is looking this way and it's funny because this is the other person's energy. So I feel like this connection could be really beautiful. This connection could be really blessed if this person decided to take, to go down this gate to go down this path but again it's all in what we decide to do right i already feel like this person has these people have kind of gone through these changes and it's kind of like coming full circle right and i think with the singer of connection i think that this person once they learn how to kind of keep open but protect themselves at the same time and not be like you know 100 percent giving it could be also a thing like that like they overgive and they need to learn how to receive and this person needs to learn how to give do you know what i'm saying i feel like there's an energy here of like these two people I think could really help each other. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they complete each other because it's like what this person is lacking, this person has. And what this person is lacking, this person has. So that's kind of the dynamic that I'm getting here with these two people. It's like, I think it could be really interesting for these people if they were to both choose love and they were to both kind of match in energy, which I feel like they are here. But I think again, it has a lot to do with like what they're learning through the cycle. And I feel like with this person being such a pessimist and like down and like, you know, <laughs> maybe it's also they have to speak about this future because I feel like they do see a future with this person or maybe like that's an energy that's coming from like that's coming right it's like <laughs> if this person could get past the gateway I think that they could finally see something really beautiful right like once they peek over but they have to get to that part right and I feel like there's something here there's a very there's a very uh it's not the sword and the, the, like, it's not the masculine and feminine, but it's kind of reminding me of the masculine and feminine, right? I think it's like, I think these two people, again, would be very, 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 like, good together. I think they com kind of complete each other in some sort of way. But again, it's like tricky energy. These people have to learn to, like, balance. <laughs> like, like, there's some sort of balance that needs to go happen with these people. And I think, again, com like, this person could see a future with this person. And it's like, cause does this person see a future with this person? I think that with choose love, I think they both might be like thinking like this could be their ton of cups if only they could kind of, if only they could like make it work, right? And I think, I think it's very possible and I think it's very doable. But again, this is the energy that we're working with here. So let's look at what this person needs from this relationship. Let's look at what this energy needs from this relationship and collectively what they both need from this relationship. Okay guys, this is hilarious. So we have a matching of energy for sure. 
And I think it's really trying to say that it's up, like it's up to these two people, right? Like at the end of the day, like this person has to decide as much on this person as this person has to decide on this person. Both of these people are again contemplating like, is this is this person right for me in my future, right? And with the two of swords and the two of wands, it's like literally a matching of energy, right? I think for this person, it might be a little bit more like the situation might be like I think more precarious. It's like there's fire here and water here it's like this person has to again it's kind of reminding me of this gateway like the fire at the bottom and it's kind of like are they going to decide to cross the pathway because i don't think that this for, for whoever is here i don't think this is about another person like i don't think this person is like i don't want to cross the pathway because like i have so many options like that's not the deal it's with themselves right it's the it's the energy that they have to change like within themselves to cross they can't be with anybody in this energy <laughs> do you know what i'm saying they're fearful of everyone so it's like they have to decide where they want to go with their future like they have to pass the gate to get to that future like they there's not it's not like like if they stay in this fearful set there's no one there it's not it's like oh which soulmate am i going to choose no it's like I'm, I'm not gonna get anyone, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like a lonely fu future for this person if they remain in this fearful state. It's like, I think it's really hard for this person. I see it as a more of a, again, I think this person has a harder time than this person. And I think this person with the two of wands, I think this person is understanding like all the opportunities that they have ahead of them. And I think that it, it's like, yeah, I understand that this person could be a soulmate. I understand that this person could be like very good for me, but at the same time, like, do you see how they're looking both ways? They have like two heads and they have like the wand and the key. I think this person has a lot of like opportunity, like whatever, which way they decide in. I think this person has decided like, you know what? I again it's like that protection of energy right I could care a lot about this person but I'm not gonna like stay in a situation where someone hasn't decided on me do you know what I'm saying so it's like I feel like this person is more of like I'm ready to go either way <laughs> do you know what I'm saying I'm ready to go left or right and it's not like they're waiting on this person but I feel like this person has more of like this harder energy where they have to get through that gate and I think that's where they're at right now. It's like, I think they're deciding what right, right now they're going to get through that gate. And this person is just kind of like wondering if this person's going to reciprocate. You know what I mean? If this person can be reciprocal, if this person can be like that 10 of cups for them. Because I feel like they would want them to be. But again, they've learned so much from this journey. It's like, if this person isn't, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to like, you know, I might be very sad, but I'm going to move on with my life and I'm going to meet the right person. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a very strong energy. This person has learned. Both of these people have learned a lot through these cycles, but I feel like this person is really more in the fire seat, right? This person is more of the one that we're like waiting to see because I feel like this person's going to, either way, they're going to be fine. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't think this person will be fine either way. I feel like they have to get through the gate. <laughs> and with the lovers as the collective energy, what they both need, I think it's hilarious because I kept saying how these two people complimented one another. These two people I felt like were very good for one another because like what one person lacked the other person had, right? And it's funny because it's like you could say, well, like what did Beast have for Belle, you know, because it's Sleeping Beauty. I mean, I'm sorry, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and it's like what did Belle have? Uh, what did like the Beast have for Belle? But didn't he have like this really crazy library and like this really crazy castle and like i'm not saying that this is all about money because i'm i feel like i'm sounding like a little bit materialistic here but i think that he was like it, when he was showing her affection like taking her to dinner and dancing with her and i think he cleaned up the library for her right like he did this like big thing for her so i i do feel like again this person i feel like <laughs> it's so funny i feel like this person could be like the beast right <laughs> And I feel like this person could be like very angry at times and very like hostile at times when they're in this energy. And I feel like, I feel like it can cause, you know what I mean? It depends on the energy this person sits in, which is why I feel like they have to cross the pathway. And it's funny to me, I, I love, I think it's just like the cutest thing now. I think this person could be very volatile at times, right, to this person. But again, I think that they would be very good at complimenting one another when they're sitting in this energy of like looking towards the future and both choosing love, right? And I feel like 
we all know like Belle helps the beast, right? She helps the beast like open up. So I feel like maybe this person has a part in like opening this person up. Like maybe this person has a role in getting this person to cross the gate. They're like, you know what? I need to do it now. It's like now or never. You know what I mean? And that's why I feel like this is a more like this serious, like this is a more serious situation because I feel like this person will always, uh, like this person will always love this child, like being this child like energy, right? And they're learning to protect themselves. But this person, I feel like if they can't get past this fear, it's just not, it's like, it's more serious, right? But I feel like with the lovers, again, these two people complement one another. I feel like this is a very complimenting thing where someone, whatever, I'm going to say it again, like where someone's lacking something the other has. And I think there can be a lot of beauty and like respect and like, again, like a ton of cups in this relationship if like these two people tried, right? So let's pull some advice for, the, for these people. So you guys got dog spirit and horse spirit. I'm gonna talk about horse spirit first because I feel like horse spirit is the advice for this particular person because I got 33 and 33, right? So I feel like for this energy here, the energy that is needed, right? I think like when it comes to making this decision that you feel like it's it's like a choice. It's like with horse spirit freedom is yours. I think they're trying to let you know that if you decide to go in this direction, if you decide to like, move through the gate right move past this fire and be open and not be in fear of this relationship with this person and kind of change the way that your perspective is on this person maybe it's just this person but i think it's like i think it's an overall perspective you have on love then i think that with the horse it's such a beautiful and like powerful energy i'm really getting like a uh, masculine energy here i think they really just want you to know that like if you let go of this fear and the stubbornness and this whatever your whatever this is right where it's not real right it's just fear uh, it's just an illusion it's like imaginary fears if you let that go you're going to go quickly into this beautiful like love right we already have choose love i think like you know where you want your ton of cups to be i think you feel it with this person and i think it's very important for you to like be authentic to who you are and like free your mind from this fear right like that's the most important thing free your mind from like how things are supposed to be and just let it go the way it's going. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like that's what I would say. I feel like this person could really compliment you and it's just like about moving and enjoying, like think about how a horse runs. It's just like, it's constantly moving. It's enjoying life. It's not thinking so much. So I feel like the message here is just kind of to go, right? To go through the gate and to not think about it so much, not to worry that this will help you. Like this will be good for you. <laughs> So I think this 19 dog spirit be loyal to what you love. I think this is for the other energy. <laughs> I think this energy again is trying to teach this person to be loyal to, I feel like it's themselves, right? And to what love actually is and to like what love means, what love means to them, right? You know how they're like looking in either direction because it's like at this point I can go either way, like I'm going to go towards what's best for me. And I think that's the loyalty that this person is showing themselves. It's like, I like know that whatever happens, I'm gonna be okay. Whatever this person decides to do or not to do, it's my, my energy isn't dependent on them. I'm gonna be okay because I've decided to put myself first always, right? And if I put myself first, this person can do whatever the hell they wanna do. Like they can choose to come with me or they could choose to stay. But if they choose to stay, then I'm gonna leave. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like I have no problems with like again it's like an, an energy to yourself right and i just really love this reading guys so yeah this is what i got for you guys aquarius i love you guys i hope this resonates and i'll see you guys next time bye